Hey there, welcome back and in today's video we will see how you can use a Python script to control an Arduino. In this case we are going to use an Arduino Uno board and I have attached an LED to pin number 13 and we are gonna simply switch on the LED and switch it off using a Python script. So in the last week's video what we have seen is how we can send data from devices like an Arduino uh, all the last week's video, we have used a Node MCO device such as this one, and we was able to send some data from this Node MCO device to a computer using serial port communication. And on our PC side, we have written a Python script which was just scanning for the data and simply printing it to the console. However, in today's video, we are gonna do the opposite. We are gonna use an Arduino Uno, and we are gonna control the LED which is connected to pin number thirteen. Uh, using a Python script. So without wasting time, let's get started. Before going into the Python script of things, what I will do is obviously connect the board to my computer first. So make sure all the drivers are installed and uh, your board is good to go uh, with your computer. And also make sure you have downloaded the Arduino software. All the links are provided in the description, by the way. So once I've connected to this uh, I connected the Arduino Uno to my PC. I will simply open up the Arduino program, the Arduino ID rather, and uh, I already I have written a piece of code which, uh, which essentially simply scans the serial port for some characters and uh, switches on and off. So as I mentioned earlier, the pin is connected to pin number 13. So what I've done is simply set that pin to output using pin mode. I've used serial dot begin to begin the serial port communication. And just to let you know, all this communication back and forth between the Arduino and your PC happens through serial port communication. So you can do any kind of data exchange that is read sensor data from the devices using serial port communication as well as perform some kind of a control like uh, switch on a motor or switch on LED, switch on something or the other uh, using serial port communication by sending data from your code to your uh, to your board, uh, that is the microcontroller unit. In this case, uh, which is an Arduino development kit. So once I've set the pin mode as output under loop, which is essentially an infinite while loop, I'm just checking if the serial is available or not. Now, if it is available, then I'm just checking what character I'm receiving the serial port communication. If it is equivalent to one, then I'm simply uh, setting pin number 13 to one. If I'm receiving two, then I'm setting the pin number 13 to two. Uh, it's as simple as that, nothing else is here. So essentially, if I'm sending one, and um, this will uh, light up the LED. And if I'm sending two, this will simply switch off the LED. Now you can test this code from here as well using this serial monitor. Uh, so if I am just switching it on, let me bring up the serial monitor. And I don't know if it is, if the LED is visible or not, I guess it's visible on the lower, I think left corner of the screen. So if I send one from here, the LED glows up. And if I send two from here, the LED switches, switches off. Similarly, we are going to do the same thing using a Python script. So let's get started. In the last week's video, we have already used this particular script, Python read.py, which simply used to get the values and simply print it out. Here, we are simply going to write it. So I just created another file called write.py and Obviously, the first two lines will be same since I am using the same library, which is a Pi serial library. This will change and this I think, I mean, this is a port number uh, where your board is connected to, which I can check from the Arduino console. It's 1240. So let me just mention as 1240. Fine. Now I need to start an infinite loop. But before that, let me just define the uh, characters that I need to send uh, for 
uh, for the LED to switch on and off. So for switching it on, so I'll just name it as switch on is equals to one and switch off is equals to two. Now I'll just simply start an infinite loop and ACR, which is a serial port object dot write. And I cannot send string, so I need to send it. Uh, I basically what I need to do is like I need to convert it into bytes and then send the data. So for converting a string into bytes, you need to simply use the bytes function as simple as that. Mention the variable name, which is switch on, followed by the encoding technique, which is UTF-8. Then I'm going to provide a delay. So for that, I need to import time. So time dot sleep and within parenthesis is the number of seconds that we need to uh, declare. So I'm just gonna give a delay of one second and then ACR dot write. Similarly bytes switch off UTF-8 and again a delay of sorry slip two sorry one for one seconds so yeah that that is it that is how simple as it can get if i just split it and just bring a read.py oops my bad yeah read.py and just compare it with, with write.py uh, it's simple like in in case of read I am simply reading the data using ACR dot read line So it'll keep on reading the data until it encounters a new line uh, Then I convert that value to a string because I receive it in bytes and then simply print that value here I am just uh, Declaring the two strings the characters which I need to send then I convert those two into bytes um, under UTF-8 I give a time gap of one second, send another byte, and uh, that's how it gets done. Uh, that's how simple it is to communicate with an Arduino um, using a simple Python script. So let us simply run this piece of code and see how it actually works. Python write dot py. Okay, I did encounter an error. It says the resource is busy, which I guess is correct because my serial terminal is open. So I need to close this serial terminal, make sure it is closed and then only I can run this code. Yes. So as you can see, I don't know if it is visible or not, but uh, on the uh, button left corner of the screen, you can see the Arduino. Let me just bring it up on the screen. Mm, yeah. So you can see the LED that is glowing for one second. And again, I mean, switching it on for one second, and then again, switching it off for another second. So in order to demonstrate that it is actually being run from this code and not just by, uh, just by writing a blink program on an Arduino, what I will do is simply increase the time duration to two seconds. So it will be on for one second and it will be off for two seconds. So I'm going, going to save this and stop this execution. And again, write this, uh, I mean, execute this code. So let me maximize the window. So it is on for one second and off for two seconds. As simple as it is. It's as simple as that. No rocket science. It's plain and simple. So simply while reading, you need to use acr.read or acr.readline. I mean, from whatever is the name of the object. And while writing, it's just dot .write. And both read and write operations happen using bytes. So if you want to develop a code, uh, like a robotics project or like a home automation project, 
where you need to control your device using using some kind of script uh, let's say python script then you can use a serial module to perform both read and write operations uh, on the device so that is it for today's video uh, all the code that i've mentioned including the arduino code is available on github um, the arduino board that i have used is arduino uno and is uh, available at quite a cheap price at amazon well i certainly hope you enjoyed this video please let me know uh, in the comment section how you like this video it is certainly a booster for me as well to understand like what are your thoughts about me making these videos and certainly in the future i'll be making much more videos on various technological topics such as iot python docker devops computer vision cloud computation and a lot of things so looking for an amazing year ahead with you all with lots and lots of content i do also post my articles on medium.com the link is posted below in the description and with that thought have a great day ahead and have a great year ahead thank you and see you again bye bye